Hey YouTube, this is Reviewer Boy123, and today I'm just gonna show you guys how to fix your R4i for your DSi or DS or DS Lite. Now, uh, there was a lot of problems about this card, the R4i, SDHC. I got mine from Deal Extreme. Like, they, I don't think they sell the um, flashcards no more anymore. But like, I got it a long time ago, like in summer. Last year, uh, well, yeah, um, well, this year, uh, one day I was trying to play a game and all, and when I turned it on and got to my R4i menu, um, layout with, with the games, the media, and the config, config, well, it, um, when you press on the games, it basically freezes, so I'm going to show you how to fix that. So basically all you're going to need is your DS and R4i. All right. This is really simple, okay? It's, it should work for most people. All right. So here we go. I got my R4. I'm just going to plug it in here. And you can see this the um micro SD card is in there. Okay, so this this will work. I mean, I'm I'm pretty confident this should work for people. Um, so I'll turn it on. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to show you it not working first, but first I've got to um, do something. Alright. Alright, so I sent it to 2010, which is the current date. Go to, go back to your DSi menu. Well, I'll press the button, sorry about that. Alright. Go to your R4. Now I'm just going. To, um, this is going to show you how it's not going to work. See, as you can see, the uh, all this is working right now. But once you press on the green, it's going to see it froze. It freezes. You can't you can't do anything. It's frozen. Like if you uh, pressing down, won't go down. Pressing A, won't press on anything. Well, yeah. What you're going to do is go back to your menu. And remember this: the current day is 2010 the year so go to your um system settings just stay with me here guys go to your date set it to 2009 press ok date will be set then all you gotta do is go back to the DSI menu go to your R4 and once you press on as you can see it's working again Press on this, the game, and look, it works perfectly. And I don't know why it's like that, but it's really weird. But probably because this was made in 2009, which because I bought it on 2009, and it's only supposed to be working for 2009. So that's pretty much it. I did find a video on how to do this, but it was kind of confusing for me because he, the guy just said change the date on the R4. So I was like, what? So yeah, this is just made you a little. Oh, I hate that. So just gonna make you a little simple for this. Also, if it still doesn't work, I I might put a link on the description for a TT, TTDS menu thing. It's just a basically um system that should work for the R4i, which if it's compatible, as you can see, if I go to that, it should take me to the media, the the middle button on the layout, and you have a TTDS which I use when my thing was frozen every time I press on the game like it will be frozen so yeah that's what I use so this is just gonna show you also I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna go back and forth and show you like, how it's not working on 2010 and it, it is working on 2009 so basically basically what you gotta do is change your date on the DS put it one year back to 2009 as you can see, the current I just um, before I just changed it to 2010. Just change it back. I'm gonna change it to 2010. All right. So DSM menu, it's not gonna work. Watch. Hold on. Go to do R4 real quick. Where's R4? All right. R4. Here it is. And oh crap! Sorry. And it's frozen. Frozen. And when you go back, change the date to 2009. Should work. 
perfectly. <coughs> Sorry. Alright, go R4. And that, as you can see, it's working. So basically, you, all you have to do is change your date on the DSi or DS or whatever. And this should um, work for problems with the R4i SDHC with the red box. And so, here, I'm, I'm just going to load up a game. Let's go to Madden. This is a 2009 game. It's really fun, but the graphics aren't that good, but it's fun though. Alright. As you can see, there's no lag or anything. Should pop real quick. Said clutch right there. Alright. You got play game? Yeah, I'll just play a game real quick. Start it. Okay. Come on. Start, 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 start. I don't care. Start, 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 start. Alright, here we go. Kick off. Oh shit, I should have picked with see if I hit being kick off. Let's go, alright. Alright, let's go. Here we go. Okay, as you can see there's no lags or anything. So that's basically how you fix your R4i for your DSI. And so Thanks for watching. Please rate and subscribe. And, um, also, if this helped you, comment below. So I, I um, because I'd like to know. And also, if it didn't help you, uh, I'll probably get the link in the description for the DSTT. I'll show you that real quick. Go to the R. What you basically do is download that software, extract the file from WinRAR, and instead of pressing on the games, you press on the media, media, and it'll take you straight to the DSTT menu, as you can see right here. And, um, if I can't post the link, uh, I'll, there's a guy who gave me this link, um, I forgot the video, something about, um, browsers, inside story or something, so yeah, I'll give you the guy's name and all, username, you can check that out and download from there, so thanks for watching, please rate, subscribe, and comment, and yeah, thanks for watching, and I hope this video helped you fix your R4 I for the DSI and yeah. Bye.